Oh, he's not really even said anything, and I'm like, uh, uh, <coughs> you know. Stars align again Even if the earth breaks like burnt skin And the heavens just won't open up for me Would you invite me in again? Won't you pay for your arrogance? Won't you show me your weakness? I may loving you Damn, son. The way he comes out of that win. Oh, he's not really even said anything, and I'm like, uh, uh, <coughs> you know? God. Hello. Hello, you guys. Hello, everyone. I've been kicked up the bum a million times to do this song, and I'm so glad that I'm finally here, especially able to... with you guys, you know what I mean? Thank you for being here, as I know that you are. Just a little sidebar as well. I was in Tesco the other day. It was like a week ago. And I'm like paying for my shit. And I glanced over like that because something caught my eye. And I looked and there was a girl with like leg tattoos and arm tattoos and stuff. She had shorts on. And I saw like a bit of vessel sticking out around the side. And I was like, there's no way. You know what I mean? So I had a little, without being a weirdo, because I've got tattoos myself. I'm interested, right? And it was fully vessel and it was gorgeous. It was like the most beautiful photorealistic portrait i've ever seen in my life and i had to go and say something when do you ever see that you know what i mean especially up here i was well gassed i was like oh my god you're a sleep token fan as well no way anyway shout out to that girl if you ever you know what i mean i'm the bold guy from tesco with the neck tattoo <laughs> anyway sorry you guys like i was saying he barely i'm coming back i've gotten back 10 more seconds because i don't you know what i'm saying the way he comes out of the I wasn't expecting it to be like a blood sport. The blood sport is loving you. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I didn't know where the blood sport was going to come into it or if he was going to even talk about it, if it was just like a title. But I'm glad it's being used the way that it is because, you know what I'm saying? It's like he's punishing himself. It's, it's sad. Anyway, excitement aside, <laughs> let's crack on. Big hugs to Catherine. Um, you know, big hugs to a lot of you. I know there's a, a few of you out here that have been really excited for this one. But Catherine was the, she was like, do this, sent in the request and all sorts into my email. So big love, Catherine. Take a hug and take a hug, all of you guys. Thank you for this already. Like, it's going to be a crier, I feel like. Anyway, shutting up. We're going to start again. <laughs> Stars align again Even if the earth breaks like burnt skin And the heavens just won't open up for me Would you invite me in again? Won't you pay for your arrogance? Won't you show me your weakness? I'm made loving you 
I made loving you a blood sport. I made loving you a blood sport. I can win. I made loving you a blood sport. I made loving you a blood sport. I made loving you a blood sport. I can win. So let's play. And somewhere, somewhere the atom stopped fusing. I'm still your favorite regret. You're still my weapon of choosing. And out there, mm. stuck in. Quantum pattern Tangled with what I never said You say it doesn't matter I wanna be forgiven I wanna choke up chunks of my own sins Even if the sky cracks in the morning And the heavens just won't open up for me Go on, down me and again and me pay for my arrogance won't you show me your weakness I made loving you fuck off man stop being so fucking talented for once <laughs> gives the rest of us a chance oh that raspy like Power rasp. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm a bit shook. I wanna be forgiven. I wanna choke up chunks of my own sins. Even if the sky cracks in the morning and the heavens just won't open up for me. You know, I like, I think I like when he says win. I've, I've realised it while we were carrying on listening. He says it in such a vesselly way. You know what I'm saying? Like the I sounds like an E or an A, right? Because that's just how he says things or sings things or pronounces things or whatever. And it's so comforting and familiar to me at this point. You know what I mean? Like, I only have my little handful of sleep token songs that I've come and reacted to, and I have, you know, the a couple of additionals that I probably won't... Well, I mean, I couldn't react to them now. I already know them. But there's a familiar comfort with Vessel's voice, you know? It's, it's getting me fucking hell. I fucking love this band. You know, I've been thinking about finger tattoos. I want to get my fingers tattooed, because, like, look, I want to extend it down. And one of them, like Slipknot is my all-time favourite band, so one of them's going to be the S, the Slipknot S, and I thought another one could be a mask, you know? A sleep token, either a logo or a little mask on there or something, like coloured, you know, red and white and like all that good stuff. What do you reckon? Let me know. Let me know. I thought that would be a good idea. And just have a little little band hand or two, right? Because I'm sure I've got some some others when I dig, but... Anyway, I just thought I'd ask you guys, because, you know what I mean, sleep token, and it's to shutting up. But you know what I'm saying about the familiar comfort, right? There's, like, such a... You could come here if you're just having one of those fucking days, and it's like getting back to a hug. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I need a fucking hug right now. I'm really sad. I'm really down. Get me some sleep token, you know? <clears throat> and I like that. It's like it churns up my emotions because it, it's just so appreciated and it's so important to me especially like you just need a hug sometimes you know what I mean and having the option to have a musical hug to just negate the desire for an actual hug for a while is so I appreciate it loads I don't know about you guys and that's why it gets me in my emotions there's not a lot of songs like there's a lot of bands that can go to to diffuse certain feelings or relax about certain things but there's not a place there's not a lot of places i can go to go and get some kind of musical hug you know what i'm saying this is one of them 
there's a few more, but Sleep Token are, are fast becoming one of them bands that I'm like, I'm in a certain emotional way, Sleep Token will help. You know what I'm saying? They'll give me that hug. They'll give me that reassurance. They'll fill me full of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, big up, lads. Big up. Anyway, shutting up, cracking on. Yeah. Would you invite me in again? Let me pay for my arrogance. Won't you show me your weakness? I may loving you a blood sport. I may loving you a blood sport. I may loving you a blood sport. I can't wear. Mm. I may loving you a blood sport. I may loving you a blood sport. I may loving you a blood sport. I can't wear. Somewhere, somewhere the atom stopped fusing. I'm still your favorite regret, and you're still my weapon of choosing. And now that Jesus stuck in the quantum pattern, tangled with what I never said. You say it doesn't matter Oh, don't, it's not over, surely. Oh, man. I'm going back. Good Lord. Good Lord indeed. Cheers. Cheers, Loki. Thanks for scaring me like that. <laughs> well done, lads. We held on to these deers. They were trying so hard. They're still trying. Hey, top right. You see this? I think this is my next sleep token reaction right here. I think... How? I said, I've said this about Ren. Only ever before have I said this about Ren. How is it one dude in a room with his voice and one instrument can do all that? Damn it. Is anybody else like, I feel alright. And then you start talking and it just all the emotion starts bubbling up to the surface from the vibration of your voice or whatever it is. That was fucking really, really just simplistically beautiful you know what i'm saying it wasn't overly grand it wasn't like you know i know there's another version so what do you reckon but fuck me that that little line okay first of all the the whole chorus the, the reason it's called blood sport right that's a deep one you know and then there was that bit about like 
he, he's wrapped up in the, in the things that he never said and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that resonates a lot with me. You know, not necessarily beer like relationships or stuff, which I'm getting the vibe. It's relationship wise, but it's, it's broad. It's very broad. You know? You lose people and you wish you'd said shit. God damn this fucking band, man. They're so good, goddamn good at it. I was just giving myself props for not crying. We, we, they're not quite broken the surface, but there's no taking them back now. I'm going to go and wipe my eyes. I'm going to have to. But gee whiz, man. I'm sweating. Like, not just because my room is like the <laughs> that meme that got posted in Discord the other day. I'm not saying my room is hot, but two hobbits just ran in and threw a ring into it, I think was the meme. And it's like that in here, but it wasn't really that fucking hot before I hit play on this, you know? I just recorded a reaction as well. Oh. Me. Is, um... Sorry, I'm so... I'm reeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, I always see in comments, like... <clears throat> I'll apologise a million times for just sort of being... But you guys get it, you know what I mean? I just feel I need to apologise. You're not come here to sit at me, stare and think, right? I'm supposed to talk about what I'm thinking, you know? But, mate, sometimes it's like getting a freaking flashbang and you're like, well, I can't even see, let alone articulate my thoughts, right? That was one of them. That was like a, such a simple... It was just simplistically beautiful, like, I don't know how else to say it, and it was so, like, it resonated. There were certain lines in there that, that really, really hit hard, you know. It's, it's just one of them. Thank you, thank you, guys. Sorry, um, you know, I don't want to leave you too long, but you can, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to, I just can't. <laughs> I'm a bit emotionally, I'm a bit like leaning, like I'm going to fall into the crying side of things soon. So I think I need some fresh air and a walk and a beverage and a hug, honestly. So let me hug you guys. Thank you for being here and thank you for clicking on this video and thank you for still being here like almost 18 minutes later. Um, I think Take Me Back to Eden is next. I really do. That was gorgeous. That really was. How do you... Like, I know people... I was just talking about one of my mates the other day. He walks around and he doesn't have a song playing in his head. Or, like, he doesn't have a song to go to that invokes certain feelings or, or relaxes other certain anxieties or whatever, right? I don't... How? I don't know how. How can you... I, don't, I just don't know. I don't know, and it's, that thought comes into my head because I just thought, how am I ever going to listen to this without crying, you know what I mean? Like, it's emotional on its own, it's a powerful piece of music, the words and the, just everything, it is powerful, right? But I'm one of those people that just like, like, a lot of you will know, I can't listen to like Michael Bolton, I just cry every time, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of those kind of people, I feel it so like, in me. And this is one of them. There's, there's just certain things that is like, I have to really, it, okay, I need to cry right now. Let me get my crying playlist on. You know what I'm saying? And this is going straight on my crying playlist. If there's any of you out there that can listen to this without busting a tear or getting that, like, you know, kind of sore lump in your throat. And afterwards you're like, <coughs> because you've been trying not to cry. Let me know. Because you're a master of your emotions. Either that or you're completely cold and heartless. Like, something's going on. Oh. Anyway, right. I'm going to go and reel somewhere else. I'm going to go and sit in a corner and rock back and forth for a little while and try and get back on top of myself. Um, giggity. But thank you so much, Catherine, for sending me this. And thank you so much... Um, to everybody else that's kicked me up the arse. There, there are at least six or seven of you that have been like, fucking hurry up and do Bloodsport. 
you know what I mean? Face to face for the last few days as well, it's been like, where's Bloodsport? Hmm? Have you done Bloodsport yet? Where's Bloodsport? You know who you are. Little shit. <laughs> um, but I've done it now, and we can talk about it, and I can listen to it and cry again. Oh, like I say, it's not just, I mean, it, it feels as though it's written for relationships, you know what I'm saying? But there are so many ways that you can apply this, you know, friends and family that you may have lost over the years and stuff. I know that's the first place my brain went, especially with that leaving things left unsaid line. That hits me hard, man. Anyway, I love you guys. I really fucking love you guys. I really do. I hope everyone is well. This is going to be a shaky outro, but... Big love to my Discordians and my Twitch folk and these absolute legends down here, my elite and every other patron. You guys are amazing and legendary. I love you all so much. Thank you for your patience and thank you for your support. Just always, you are fantastic. You really are. All links are below to anyone that isn't part of the extended family. Um... And yeah, I just love you guys. I really do. So please, when you're out and about in the world, um, please do take care and please stay safe because I want to see you in the next one. You are awesome. You are righteous. Peace and love, my friends.